There are so many fabulous steakhouses in New York, but most of them are in Manhattan or Brooklyn. Today, we'll show you a special one in Queens, Danny's Steakhouse and Oyster Bar. The owner, Danny, is a culinary pro, and he's very selective when it comes to steak. So it would be hard to have a Danny Steakhouse without Danny himself, and we're joined by Danny. Hi, welcome. <laughs> and we have another guest here. Oh, who is this? Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You know, Hello. Yeah. I just came here, and Danny saw me, and I just started to talk to him. I said, "This part is good, that part is good." It's very good. It's not good. I just said, "Hey, I think I know a lot of myself. And today, I came here, and I thought, 'Hey, you you learn things every day. I learned a lot of special things.' Because eating meat is like that. Many people like to eat, but they don't like to eat. When did you start to like to eat? I just like to eat and like to eat. 爱吃、贪吃、好吃，那就研究了。喜欢吃，我喜欢煮，喜欢烹饪，然后呃也做过餐馆，然后呃就喜欢找好的食材。嗯，好的食材你要有对的方法去烹饪，然后好的方法、对的方法去吃。After working in restaurant-related industries for several decades, Danny decided to open his own steakhouse, one that would satisfy even his picky palate. This place is just more than a spot for his family and friends to gather and party. It also provides Queens residents a great option for dining. And one good news is we have a dollar oyster almost every day. Happy hour. Oh, we happy hour. Yeah, say happy hour. Happy hour right now. Yeah. Okay. And then, by the way, let me show you the the, the king crab we have right now. The best part of the king crab is the leg. It's so. excellent. <laughs> it's half of my wrist. So we serve good quality food and good quality stuff here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to know about steak. Why is there such a huge price range when it comes to the cuts? What's an effective way to prepare it? Where on the cow does it come from? Danny and his chef are extremely knowledgeable and can give you a tasty lesson right here in Flushing. Let's go check out the kitchen to have a lesson in steak. 现在呢，我们就是在这个厨房里面可以看到的，这个就是我们的 Bert 大厨。然后这盘子上有一块很大很大的牛排。Oh, well, allow me. That is huge. That's like a brontosaurus cut right there. What do we got here, Bert? This is our porterhouse steak. It's half filet mignon, half sirloin. This one here weighs about 40 ounces. 21 day aged. Porterhouse. What is porterhouse? What part of the cow does it come from? Let's take a look at this picture. Porterhouse comes from the short loin of the cow. They have more tenderloin as part of the cut. On the other side of the bone, you can find a nice juicy strip steak. Now, how about in terms of seasoning it? What do we have to do We're for that? We're going to make a little mix right now. Let's do it to it. Let's mix it up. A high quality steak doesn't require a lot of seasoning as the taste is so flavorful on its own. Here, Chef Bert uses table salt, sea salt, garlic powder, and fresh pepper. So why did you use two different kinds of salt? Because the sea salt's a little stronger, and it makes it a little more tender, and it's not as salty. A little bit of melted butter on top. Take it. Take the grill out. Oh, hear that spear, baby. Put the steak into a 500 Fahrenheit degree oven for three to four minutes. Lines on there. Give it a little flip over. Oh, how beautiful! Nice. Touch more seasoning. 更多的盐 Touch more melted butter. 更多的这个黄油好香啊 Let's put the steak out. Seriously? How is it done so quickly? Why is he taking it out? This is filet mignon. And that is New York Strip. Okay, you can leave that one for me and that'll be for that, that, Tien. <laughs> yeah. And we put everything back in. So how long does it take for you to cook the filet mignon? We're going to leave this in here, I would say, two more minutes. This step is done so that the steak will cook evenly. Since filet mignon is smaller, we'll place it further from the center of the oven. Now it's time for plating. You think it's time to eat?
little melted butter. Oh no, not more melted butter. Oh, a more. little beef <laughs> stock. It's going to go in. 80% of the steak is still raw, so we'll put it back for another three minutes. Before we serve it, a little oh, hot butter. Oh, I have a bad thing. A little it's be oh, wow, I'm still hot. Look at it sizzle. Oh. Mm. Okay. 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 It's time for the chef to test us on what we've learned, and we can only eat if we answer correctly. You can play with us too to test your steak knowledge. What cooks faster, filet mignon or sirloin? Put it on! Put it on! Okay, Ty, one, okay. one. <laughs> one, one. One more. One more. <clears throat> Who's a better host? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Why do I cut it off the bone? Because you're the man, Bert, obviously. No. But the real answer is so people. Uh, my answer is so you can cook it even. Winner. Uh, yeah, I you have one. Are you going to be nice? No. Yeah, really? No. Love you. I 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 love you. That is so tender and it's got all the amazing juices in there. Good job, Bert. Mm. Now that we're done with beefsteak, it's time for pork jowl. Pork jowl is cured and smoked pig cheek. It's a special dish at Danny's Steakhouse and it isn't easy to find at other restaurants. Only professional eaters know it's the best. What's the specialty about this part? It's just so tender. If you cook it right, you don't need a knife. Sometimes it comes out, it's going to melt on the plate like butter. Pork jowl and T-bone have different ways of cooking. Pork jowl needs to be grilled first, then taken back and boiled again. First, grill it until it turns golden brown. Then place it in an ovenware. Add some water and use tin foil to cover it. Bake in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Lastly, grill the pork jowl for two minutes. If you want to enjoy the tender pork jowl fully, knowing how to cut the meat is crucial. It's time for another test. First question, what animal does this meat come from? Pig. Ty, when I cut it, do I cut it with the lines or against the lines? With the lines. With. Against. The lines go this way. I told you, you got to go the other way. Oh, OK. What kind of dressing is on that lettuce? Honey mustard. I, I guess we got a tie. <laughs> gotta get, I have like a fully loaded bite here with the dressing and the jaw. I am in awe of the jaw right now. It is so tender. Like, look at that. You don't even like. I can. I barely even need to apply any pressure. It's just cutting, yeah, cutting it's itself. Double load. I think 95% of the people never had it. Mm. So we are part maybe, of the Maybe come down. Now. Maybe come down and get it. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, everyone's favorite, ribeye steak. This cut comes from the cow's 6th through 12th ribs. People say, oh, it's very fatty. The more marble in the meat, the more tender it is. It's naturally marbled, which makes it a great choice for slow roasting and grilling. The fat gives it a lot of flavor, so when it comes to seasoning, all you need is table salt, sea salt, pepper, garlic powder, and butter. Baby burn, that's the sound that I make when I get in the sun during the summer. Ribeye always has a fatty section. Grill the steak for five to seven minutes until the fat is fully cooked and you can smell it. It's loved all around for its juiciness and flavor. What are we putting on now? Butter. <laughs> Where are you? Are you, are you okay? We'll sleep back here. Sorry, I'm taking a nap like the meat Your was. Your favorite word's butter and she answers. <laughs> Who earns a bite of the ribeye this time around? Oh, baby. But this is a question. 
if I had a bone on this and I roasted it in the oven, what would it be called? A Remember, T bone. No. Prime rib. Oh. When you, oh. it's a ribeye with the bone, oh. and it's cooked slow in the oven. It's a roast, roast prime rib. Oh, Take the bone off, make steaks. You can leave the bone on and grill it or broil it. It's called a ribeye. Oh, that's a good piece. That is a good piece. Bert doesn't fool around. Oh my God. And I love it's like, I really, don't get me wrong, flame on is great, but this is even better because I like a little bit of the fat in there. Yeah. And like I said, all that marble, it's gone. Mm -hmm. There's no more marble. Nope. It melts away. Makes it tender. Mm. Maybe the calories will melt away too. We learned a lot from Danny today about T-bone steak, pork jowl, and ribeye. If you want to learn more, come to his restaurant to taste the deliciousness for yourself and find out which wines to pair with it. Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the University of Danny New Pai Wu is in the